Hello everyone, welcome back to another Adobe Premiere Pro CC 2021 tutorial. In this one, I'm going to show you how to add in a background image and or a color background to your video. Here is what we've done here. This is a final example. Uh, this is a dog video. We've got a dog up in the top right, left, and the bottom right. And they're just doing their thing. And in the background, we put in a nice cool little doggy print uh, video and it's, I know it's pretty small here let me go ahead and just increase the size so you can see it and also well, if you don't want to do that and you just want a solid color in the background I can just go ahead and I'm gonna turn off this layer here and we've got a nice solid teal light bluish color in the background there as well this is very very popular for companies that want to have their logo or their their background colors in the video I will show you how to do it let's go ahead and delete everything all right, and now let's get going. The first step, uh, actually, yeah, I'm not going to delete everything. I'll just delete the bottom two pieces. That's all I need to do. So here we go. We've got the videos of the dogs here running and doing their thing, and it's on a black background. This is standard. Now, normally, these videos and these images would be on the bottom three layers like this. This is what it would be like. Your first video goes on the bottom. Your second video, oops, let me turn that on. Your second video and your third video. What we want to do now is we want to move these videos up in the stack. So I'm going to go ahead and select them all, and I'm going to shift them up two for this demonstration. If you just want to do a background image or a background color, and that's it, you would just want to shift them up one. The next step here is you want to take your image. In this case, I've selected a doggy footprint image, and I'm going to drag and drop that on below all of these stacks here to the uh, second video track so v2 and if I move my playhead back to the beginning you'll see the image it's very very small and it's centered and it's not the right size so I'm gonna go ahead and do a couple things first I'm gonna increase the size of it so I'm gonna increase the length of it pardon me so we're gonna go right to the end and then the second thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and make sure I'm selected on that image I'm going to double click on it and then I'm just gonna drag it out by the edges holding down the shift key on one of the one of the points and I'm just going to make sure that it fills up the whole screen. Something like, uh, that's a bit too small, let's go a little further. Right about there. Okay, so that might be all you need to do to put a background image into your video. And presto, we're done. Uh, if you want to go a little further, you can go ahead and create a uh, color mat. You want to go to new item. Now, down here at the bottom left of your, or bottom right of your project panel, there's a new item uh, little button here. If you do not see it, and it's possible that this will be minimized to like this size, just drag this out and eventually you will see the new item. Click on new item and then go to color mat. This is very important. When you click on color mat, go ahead and just set it to the size. So just hit OK. It will set it to the, it will automatically set it to the size of your composition. I'm going to click it and now we can set the color. So for this one, I don't know, let's go with a new color. Let's go with some sort of cool green color. All right, left click on OK, and left click on OK. We're just going to call it Color Mat, and presto, in your project panel, the Color Mat will show up. Now drag and drop this Color Mat underneath all your video, and even underneath your image. You won't see it yet. Don't panic. We're going to get there. I'm going to just increase this length of it to the whole composition. And then, in this instance, I have to turn this layer off because we've got that doggy footprint uh, on top of it. But if you didn't have that doggy footprint on top of it, you would just see the color mat or the underground or underlying color layer, just like that, guys. That's all there is to it. Thanks for watching. We'll be back soon.